Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Nicole and this is The Simplistic Home and this channel is all about simple living, affordable decorating, and thrifting. we are going to be talking about how to shop budget friendly. So I have four different ways that I like to shop budget friendly that are tried and true that I have been shopping these ways for years and I want to share them with you guys today because I think it is super important whenever you are trying to not break the bank and just shop affordably for your home rather that be home decor or clothing whatever the case may be. I also want to thank you guys for being here today. I really appreciate you. If you are new to my channel and you're watching this video let me know down in the comments so I can give you a proper welcome and I hope you consider subscribing today. Anyway without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this video. So like I said, we are going to be talking about four different ways to shop affordably. One of them is going to be thrifting, of course. If you are not new to my channel, you know that I absolutely love thrifting. And if you are new to my channel, then you will learn very quickly that thrifting is one of my all-time favorite ways to shop when it comes to shopping for my home, shopping for clothing, shopping for literally anything. Thrifting is my number one way. I will also be talking about Facebook Marketplace, shopping yard sales, and also shopping end of season clearance sales. We're gonna go ahead and start off with thrifting. So one of my things that I love about thrifting is that you can always find such unique pieces, also things that are one of one most of the time, and I absolutely love that. I think that thrifting can make your home very unique. It can tell a story. You can save so much money doing that. It's also environmentally friendly, which is always nice. When it comes to thrifting, you can save, like I said, so much money, and that is so important when you are trying to stick with a budget. One of the things that I love to look for is home decor would be the obvious one, and then I also love to shop my clothing as well. One of the things one of my local thrift stores does is keep seasonal clothing out. They are just now getting rid of all of their fall and winter inspired clothing and they just had a huge sale that was all adult clothing for a dollar and then they had kids and baby clothing for 50 cents. You obviously cannot beat those prices. The shirt that I'm actually wearing right now was a part of that end of the winter sale and was only a dollar and it was perfect. I love these cute casual shirts. I also like to thrift, like I said, my home decor there as well. When it comes to thrifting home decor in a thrift store, they do have seasonal items too. When you are getting ready to decorate your home for fall, for example, they will bring out fall related items. Same thing with Christmas. They're doing the same thing with spring right now. I know a lot of my local thrift stores have like Easter inspired and spring inspired items out. And like I said, you can find some really great pieces for a fraction of the cost. One of the things I do want to mention with thrifting is that you need to stay consistent in order to find good items on a regular basis. It is very rare to go into a thrift store like once every couple months and like hit the jackpot pretty much. You need to stay consistent because they do have stuff out differently every single day. I know for me personally, I only go thrifting once a week and when I do go once a week, it is totally different items compared to what it was the week before. I would love to go more, but I don't have time. So anyway, once a week is good for me. I also work at a local thrift store in my area, which is super awesome. And like I said, I always find really great pieces there. Moving on to the next category, we are going to be talking about Facebook Marketplace. So Facebook Marketplace, I really like looking on there for furniture. You can find some really great pieces. I have found two items in my home that are home decor related, furniture related. One of them is a secretary that I have in my kitchen. We found this one about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago now, I can't remember. Um, but it is a secretary, like I said, it is beautiful. I love the details on it. And it is a large statement piece in my kitchen. So we had kind of a bare wall and I really just wanted to put a large piece there because in my home, I'm not a fan of having a lot on my walls. So having large furniture just to act as decor is perfect. And we spent $125 on this piece and I can almost guarantee if you were to try to find one online, you would be spending way more money because I find that nowadays the more detailed, more ornate, more vintage looking, antique looking pieces are going to cost a lot of money. So if you can find a good piece on Marketplace or in the thrift store, then more than likely you are going to be saving a ton. The next item we found on Marketplace was actually this black hutch that is right behind me. 
We actually found this hutch on Marketplace as well. It was originally $75, but I ended up offering 60 and they took the offer, which was awesome. It was originally a wood finish, but I wanted to paint it black just to kind of make it flow a little bit better with our dining room. And it has a light inside. Again, it has a very ornate details. It looks very old school, which I love. And it just tells more of a story, I think, compared to buying something brand new in a retail store. In my opinion, I think that shopping unique pieces can just make your home feel super unique. It is true to you and it doesn't look the same. It doesn't look like anyone else's more than likely. Cause I think that's important for your home to feel comfortable to you and just tell a story and just share who the people are who actually live here and kind of the vibe and the style that you enjoy. So finding those unique pieces at thrift stores or Facebook marketplace, I think is a perfect way to do that. Moving on to yard sales. So we are kind of in the middle of yard sale season right now. I know most yard sales happen in spring, summer, and fall. Those are a majority of the seasons with the nicer weather. A lot of people are doing spring cleaning, getting rid of things. You never know, people might be moving, things along those lines, and people just want to get rid of stuff. And having a yard sale is a great way to do so. And also, if you're the shopper, saving a ton of money because once again, you never know what you are going to find. Recently, my mom went to a yard sale and she ended up finding me a wreath, which I think is so pretty. I was looking for one for spring and into the summer months and she found this one for me. So it has eucalyptus, it has boxwood, it has some succulents, just a little bit of everything, just real like earthy and definitely screams like spring and summer. And she found this for $4. So you cannot beat it. A good wreath for four bucks, super cheap. Most wreaths these days are anywhere from like 20 to 30 and up, you know? So $4 for that wreath, I think it is beautiful. If you guys have seen my videos where I set up at spring markets and just markets in general, um, the large sign that I have that has like my business logo and like all the business details and whatnot on it, it's a huge chalkboard sign. I actually found that at a yard sale last year for 10 bucks and it was originally from Hobby Lobby. I don't know what the original price was, but I can guarantee it wasn't $10 because this thing is huge. So that was a great find that I have had recently and then also last year I ended up finding a really cool ornate like book holder if I can find a picture of it I'll post it here but I found it for like two dollars and it was so pretty I had it out last fall because it does have like some leaves detailing on it and whatnot and it looked perfect for fall decor but I had that out and it was just beautiful and like I said it was only two dollars Moving on to the final way to shop budget friendly is shopping those end of season clearance sales. So recently I have found some great items at Target that are clothing related. I've also found some other home decor pieces um, in the past that are from Target, from TJ Maxx, from Home Goods, from Kirkland's, pretty much anywhere that is a retail store because just like anywhere else, they are going to be getting rid of whatever season we are coming to an end and putting those things on clearance so that way they can bring out the new items for the next season. Right now in Target, at my local Target, they had a huge section of women's clothing that was on clearance that was from the winter months. I personally love shopping the Universal Thread line in the women's clothing. It's just really, it's just my style. I love the colors. I love the relaxed look that it has and whatnot, but I don't always want to spend 20 to $30 on a shirt or whatever the case may be. I like to hold out for whatever season I'm looking for until they put it on clearance and finding some really good things that way. So recently, I ended up finding two really pretty shirts that I can wear right now and also wear them in the fall and the winter this coming year. So the first one I found is actually this like camel color like pullover it does have a zipper in the front and it does have like some detail on the sleeve. It's kind of like that puffed sleeve look when it's on like the puffy shoulders. But this one is super pretty, super comfy and casual. It is like a sweater material, but it's light enough to where I could wear this now. I actually wore this last weekend when I went to a spring market. And then, like I said, I can keep this for fall and winter and wear it all fall and winter long, all those cool months. But this one was originally $25 and I ended up finding it for $12.50. I think that's what it was. Yeah, ended up finding it for $12.50. So great price, great deal, half off. Um, and yeah, I love this. It is definitely a staple in my closet. Super pretty, really comfy casual, which is totally my vibe. And then the next thing I found is this other pullover that is from Universal Thread and it has a collar on it, super cute. I wore this one recently as well. Um, I wore it with distressed jeans and like 
flip-flops or sandals for um, spring because we had a few nicer days but I still wanted something that was kind of heavy to wear um, just in case I got chilly but anyway I had this on super pretty it's like really comfortable and this one was originally $29.99 and I spent $8.99 on it so this one was a really good deal and a great find and again both of those are staples in my closet for sure and then also, if you have little ones, be sure to check the clearance for them as well because in the past I have been able to find some great things for my boys in the clearance section that I will find at the end of that season and save it for the following season. And I found one the other day for my oldest. He is currently, he's in 4T but kind of growing out of it and going into 5T and I know for sure by this uh, fall he'll definitely be in 5T. So I found this cute little camo like sweatshirt. Um, my boys wear sweatshirts and like these type of clothing all the time. So anyway, this one I found on Clarence. It was originally $7. It's the Cat and Jack brand and it says it was $3.50 but I ended up getting it for like $2.25. I don't remember why but that's how it came up on my um, receipt. So anyway, either way, still a great deal. Good staple for his closet. So I found that and then another thing I found a few years ago is um, whenever they the Hearth and Hand line had out like those coffee pour over systems, I was eyeballing them for so long but again I just wanted to wait to see if I could get it until it went on sale and I found one. So one day I just so happened to be in Target and I saw like three or four of these in the like a little clearance end cap section for Hearth and Hand of like the fall stuff that they were getting rid of. And this was originally $16.99 and I ended up finding it for $5.09. So I was super pumped whenever I got this because like I said, I really wanted one, but I didn't know how often I would use it. So I was like, I'll just wait until it goes on clearance and yeah, five bucks. So super cool. Um, eventually we'd like to have like some floating shelves in our kitchen. And I think whenever we're using this, this would be pretty to display. Okay, I wanted to share that with you guys as well. So you can also find, gosh, throw pillows, you can find blankets, you can find rugs, any kind of knickknack type thing like faces or picture frames. I know it seems like a lot of times when I go to my Target, they have a lot of wall decor on clearance. So I wanted to share those end of season clearance sales with you because obviously retail stores have clearance items all the time. So I just hope that you can take note and realize that you can find certain things that you have an eye on a little bit cheaper if you wait close enough to um, the end of that season and then you can have it like brand new for the following year if you have the patience. I know sometimes it's hard to have the patience. Sometimes if there's something I know like, okay, this is gonna go quickly, I'll probably never find one. I will purchase it, but I would much rather wait until the end of the season. That way I can get it a fraction of the cost. So those are my four ways to shop budget friendly. Like I said, thrifting, yard sales, marketplace, and also shopping end of the season clearance sales. I've been able to find so many great pieces in the past and I hope you guys consider these options whenever you go shopping to save a little bit of money as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoy all things simple living, affordable decorating, and thrifting, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. I try to post about two times a week. Last week I only shared one video because our little boys were sick, so I had to obviously take care of them. That takes priority. Anyway, otherwise, I do like to share thrift with me's. I also like to do simple decorating. Um, I did some spring content here recently where I decorated my living room, dining room, and kitchen for spring. So if you are interested in those videos, I'll leave a playlist down below. It is just titled Spring 2022. And I am going to be sharing a Spring 2022 home tour with you very soon, probably next week. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here, like I said, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.